So, Daniel, when I'm looking at this problem, what I'm going to do is, again, ladies and gentlemen, we talked about two different ways to find the axis symmetry. One way was to complete the square, so you had it in vertex or standard form. The other way we can do it is also by following the rule of the axis symmetry is just simply x equals opposite of b divided by 2a. Now, remember, when it's in this general form, we have y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. So opposite of b is going to be positive 11 divided by 2 times a, which is 1, which equals 11 halves. And that's it. If you want to find the decimal version, be 5.5, but that's it. That's all you got to do. So now, just a little, if I asked you to find um, the vertex, then remember the x, axis symmetry is the x value. The vertex, you'd need to plug in this value in 4x. So I'm not going to do it because that's not the question is asking. But if I did ask you to find the vertex, you'd have to plug in that, and then that would be your y value. OK? Could that help? So 